Hey everyone, it's Mary Duasse, CEO and founder of Mary D Wellness, your virtual midwife and your overall wellness coach for busy moms. So today is about the education and support for mothers navigating um, the journey um, of preterm birth. So education and support for families um, who are experiencing premature birth is significantly um, impacting both parents and the babies. As you know, premature birth, it's delivery before 37 weeks of age, gestation, which can bring so many unique challenges, including medical complications for the baby and also emotional stresses for the family. So here is an overview of critical areas for education and support for your premature birth. So understanding premature birth is really important and then the medical care surrounding that. So we do have resources educational resources that parents would benefit from, but would benefit learning from about, um, you know, common health issues that premature babies face, like respiratory distress, difficulty in feeding, jaundice, um, neonatal intensive, intensive care units, and others provide resources that can explain these topics. So the neonatal intensive care orientation and procedures, so helping parents to relax and be aware of the environment, where the baby is going to be. Some hospitals have tours, you know, virtual guides or videos for you to familiarize yourself with the area or the environment before you go there. Kangaroo care and bonding. Um, many educate parents about kangaroo care, a method of skin-to-skin -skin, um, contact that has been shown to improve bonding, stabilize heart distress and support the baby's opt optimum health. So looking at the emotional well-being and then um, the mental health support, counselling and therapy. So the stress of a premature birth can take its toll on the parent's mental health and sometimes can lead to postpartum depression, you know, anxiety or PTSD. Um, so hospitals may provide access to therapists who specialise in neonatal care, helping parents um, who are experiencing this. There are also support groups and pair groups as well for mothers to tap in or the parents to tap in. It could be in person or online where you will gain support, you know, reduce feelings of isolation. And it's basically focusing on the resources and connections that families um, who are dealing with premature birth would benefit from. Also, there is a mindfulness stress management techniques. And these are programs that would also help the parents to manage stress whilst the baby's in the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, navigating the developmental milestones and long-term care for the baby. Premature babies may develop at a different pace than full-term babies, especially during the first year. And professionals like pediatricians, neonatologists, and early intervention specialists can guide you or the parents on track and growth cognitive development and motor skills. The healthcare professionals are there to do that. But if you want to know more about it, they're happy to teach you as well. So early intervention programs, you know, depending on the area that you're in, where you're based. So we've got speech therapy, occupational therapy, if it's needed. Some of these um, services can support with the child's development and parents can learn to assist in this as well. And also empowering the parents and um, advocating for them um, you know, advocating for the parents to actually learn how to advocate on behalf of the of the child um, to receive the best um, possible support. Financial and practical support. I know that, you know, maternity leave, but if you have a baby early and then you go on maternity leave early, then it's going to impact on you returning to work. So you can look into insurance and financial guidance. Where I am now, it's at the point of care, but make sure that where you are, if they don't offer that, you have an insurance in place, you know, um, so that they're able to cover this, um, they're able to support you at this time. Um, community resources and donations as well. There are some organisations that would um, help to deliver meals, you know, transportation assistance, families navigating the practical aspects of having a baby in your natal unit. So make sure that you're asking the questions and identifying the support. Return to work, you know, balancing and caring for 
premature baby or preemie can be challenging. So work placement, um, workplace accommodations would be able to help you to balance your career opportunities as well. Um, there is a awareness and advocacy initiatives as well, which promotes um, premature birth risks and then also the causes. So programs that educate the public about the causes and risk of preterm can also help reduce um, the rates of preterm delivery. And the Wealth Organization and then the March of Dimes frequently work on campaigning to raise awareness and promote research in this area. Advocacy for policy supporting families. So many groups that work to improve policies related to parental leave, insurance coverage, workplace protections and per parents of premature babies as well. Don't sit in silo and don't sit in silence. Make sure that you're asking all these questions. There are also online and community resources where you'll have education, educational and websites or apps um, who would um, provide online resources tailored to parents of premature babies. For instance, my Premi or Niku baby offer information, you know, tracking tools and educational content as well. Research and knowledge sharing platforms, online databases and communities allow parents to stay updated on the latest research in premature birth care and connect you to, you know, with the experts. When we look at education and support networks, these are available resources for families who are dealing with these complexities of premature birth. So with the right tools and guidance, and the emotional support, parents can navigate their journey more um, confidently and more positively, which would um, impact the child's um, growth and development. So if you want to explore our virtual support options, go to www.speakwithmerid.com. Have a blessed day.